All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the Spigen Cryo Armor case here for my iPhone 14 Pro. So I really wanted to test this case out um, just due to the fact of the uniqueness of it and kind of it tailoring towards even like gamers, for example, because the whole spiel about this is that it absorbs heat and then dissipates it away to kind of help keep your phone nice and cool if you're doing rigorous, you know, maybe uh, YouTube watching or gaming or something like that, uh, where the phone might tend to get a little hot. So as far as the cost goes, it's 22 bucks right now on Amazon with Prime Shipping, but there is a 10% off coupon that you can apply at checkout. So I will link all the iPhone 14 cases that I can find. So the Pro, the Pro Max, the regular um, 14, and then I think even the 14 Plus is on Amazon. So if it's all there, I will put it down in the description. So let's look at the packaging here real quick. So nothing to wow you, it looks just like all the other ones. And you can kind of see how this case is gonna look, right? It looks very unique, uh, cryo armor, and it is for the, uh, and the color is matte black. So let's get it out here and let's take a peek at it real quick. So get it out of the packaging here. And it does have one of their little cards again about their charging bricks. Um, but here is the case, so it's actually pretty cool looking and it's super grippy. I love that pattern right there actually with the little blue in the back. It looks pretty damn cool. Um, now on the interior, it does have this flap here. So we'll peel this protective film off and it does warn you that if you can see, there's like these little wrinkles inside of the case. And it said due to the nature of this case and the material here that's gonna help absorb that heat and make it cooler, um, it says it's going to stay that way, which it's not gonna be a bother because obviously you're never gonna see the wrinkles, uh, but don't think that your case is messed up or defective because you see these like little wrinkles and stuff. It's supposed to do that. As far as this here goes, um, it feels very smooth as well, but it's got your Spigen branding, the something you want, reminding you that it's in Irvine, California, but made in South Korea. Um, it does have the air cushion technology on the corners. It does say it right here, but that is gonna help with drop protection as well. Um, so they act as little tiny airbags when you drop the phone. So let's grab my Space Black 14 Pro and let's slap it on. So as far as install goes, couldn't be any easier, extremely simple. And that's how it looks installed actually on my phone. And I gotta say, first impressions, the case looks really cool. It's such a unique looking Spigen case, and it's so different than anything that I've seen from Spigen before. And I've tested a ton of Spigen cases. This material is very grippy. Um, it's very 3D, as you can see, it looks like little cubes. Uh, it has a really cool Spigen logo kind of embedded inside there, so it's pretty cool. But then the blue inside of it just looks super sick as well. So all in all, I gotta really give it two thumbs up for the design and then the feel of it. It's just super grippy, it feels fantastic. Now looking at the camera bump, you can see that we do have some raised lips around the lenses and they are nicely recessed in there. So we are definitely getting some decent lens protection with this case. And then, like I said, just looking at it again, that's the back. Looking at it on the sides here, I really enjoy the sides too so far. So it's got these like two little ridges here and that's just helping with the grip. So as I'm holding the phone, I can feel that grip and it does feel very nice. Uh, the power button is raised as you can see there as well. And then moving to the bottom, you can kind of see the look of like that little high gloss outline there on the corner. The bottom does have a nice cutout for the lightning port and the speakers. And then move into this side here, same ridged pattern on the side. Um, and then of course we have our volume up and down buttons that are wrapped a little bit in some uh, high gloss black, but the buttons themselves are a matte black finish that are raised. And we do have a very tight pill shape cutout for the alert slider. And then looking at the top, that's kind of the design of the top. And you can kind of see how the camera bump sticks out. 
Looking at the front, you can see that we do have some lips that are going around the screen. So you are definitely getting screen protection with the case borders. And then that's the look of the sides. So with the phone turned on, let's just do that. That's the look. So not thick at all, very nice and slim. And then looking at the actual um, cutout, they say that it's called their sound tunnel, which basically means it's kind of covering that speaker grill just a tad bit, but it's supposed to amplify the sound a little bit. Um, so take that for what it is. Um, it sounds good. It hasn't interrupted any calls with other cases that I've dealt with that had the sound tunnel. So just something to think about. Um, so now let's go ahead and do the wobble test real quick. Let's see if it's shaky. So face down, there is no shake at all. And then back down, definitely some shake when you hit that corner. So it's kind of like all the other cases that I've reviewed so far. That camera bump is just a shaky mess and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so now let's go ahead and uh, do the clicky button test. Let's see how tactile and responsive these are. I'm gonna put it up against a little bit closer so you might hopefully hear it with a shotgun mic. So let's do power button first. Okay, and volume up and down. All right, guys, so big thumbs up with the buttons. They are very responsive, so no issues at all if you like clicky buttons. And then let's go ahead and also check the um, ease of access to the alert slider here. No issues at all, as you can see, so two thumbs up with that. And then last but not least, let's check the MagSafe capabilities. So I got my MagSafe charger here, so let's go ahead and slap it on. All right, so it is recognizing that it is on my MagSafe charger and it gave the sound, but for whatever reason, it's not giving me the MagSafe animation. So there's no issue with it and you can Qi wirelessly charge it as well. You can use Apple Pay, you can do everything that you can with this phone case on, so no issues at all there. So all in all guys, this is actually a pretty dang cool case. Looking at it, the design, the feel of this back feels fantastic. I absolutely love this actual material here. I hope that Spigen decides to maybe even make a case with just this pattern on the back, but a solid pattern instead of the uh, breakout with the blue in the background. Of course, this case is meant for like gamers and heavy users that are going to really test the limits of the temperature of their phone, but this is designed to actually help cool it down. Unfortunately, I just don't have time to do that type of test for this phone case, but from what I'm seeing online, it looks pretty legitimate. But if you do have this case and you're using it as a heavy user, let me know down in the comments how you're enjoying it. Um, but like I said, so far, just as a normal case, I just think it's a really cool case, just to normal, you know, if you just wanted to use it for your normal daily use. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. I'll see you on the next one.